Hello, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a kind of a soil cube just like this and give it a slight shadow over there. The grass isn't perfect. I couldn't find a good enough picture for that, but hopefully with a bit more searching, you will be able to. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of these layers um, and I'm going to start off with my grid here. You can see I've got a white background, the main grid and the 20 degree line just to show that it is 20 degrees if you want this grid you can head over to my website i'm going to put the link in the description it's totally free and you can do whatever you want with it they come in red and black and 20 degree angles and 30 degree angles okay so i'm just going to create a new layer and i'm just going to zoom in Control and plus just over there and you want to get your brush tool and make sure it is black doesn't have to be black, mine's going to be black in this. Okay, actually first, sorry, I just forgot. Let's bring out the grids, just to find the center of the document. There we go, so I've already got the star, the, the cross over there. Just makes it easier and a lot quicker when we are actually doing it. Right, so I've got my brush tool selected. I'm going to go down to, let's give it a two pixel outline. So you can just see the grid lines over here. It's up to you how big or small you want to make it. So I'm just going to click once and then we want to follow the line up all the way to the blue line in the grid there. Holding down shift, oh, shift and click again. And the same with this one, follow it down. This is just for the top part. Um, we're going to do the sides in a minute. There we go and there. Okay, so you want to press the G key or your paint bucket tool which is just over here and just fill it with black. Right, so that one's done. We want to create a new layer and we want to go back to our brush tool hitting the B key and we want to do the left side. So click and it's up to you how far down you want it to go. I'm just going to bring mine down to about there and just following it all along. Holding down shift and G to fill it in. Right, so let's let's just name these quickly. So that's the top and this one is the left. And let's do the right. So I want to create a new layer and back to the brush tool. Clicking, holding down shift, and clicking again, just following the line up, holding down shift, and closing it. Okay, back to the G key, and there we go, so that's the right side. Right, so I've got a few images of Google Images, um, I've got some gravel or dirt, and some green grass to go on the top. First thing we want to do, actually before I go on, um, I've made over 60 videos now, um, I hope you're really learning a lot from these. I haven't made any courses or anything, I don't have time to do that unfortunately. Um, just a little help from you guys would get me a long way. Uh, this is my PayPal to send me donations, Any, however big, however small, it all helps and I can get some more photos, uh, photo editing and Photoshop tips and tricks out to you. Okay, so I hate doing that, but I just felt I needed to share that with you. Okay, so we're going to go to our crop tool um, once you have your images, and we're going to go for a ratio of 1 to 1 to make it a square. And just hit, oh, don't hit enter yet. Uh, don't crop. I want to move it first. So we go to our crop tool. Let's move it escape okay that's fine hit enter and that's cropped or we can move it around let's let's choose that side shall we and hit enter and now I'm just going to move it over to my um, my diagram and zooming out we basically want this on top of the the left one so that's over there you can rescale it up to you I'm going to just do it a little bit 
just so it's still in a bit of proportion. And once you've got that, you want to right click and distort. And now we want to move these points to every single corner just to make it fit in. And that one as well. Like that. Okay, so that's that one done. Hit it, enter. And we can go back. Let's close that. These new tooltips get a bit frustrating. Let's copy this one over as well. And we want that above the right hand side. So let's move that just a little bit. I'm not going to rescale this one. I'm just going to distort it straight away. And it's not doing it. Because I haven't done Control T. My bad. And distort. So that one goes there. That one goes there. Well, while I'm doing this tedious part, um, if you guys ever want any specific tutorials or anything, just let me know. I'm always happy to help. Um, and if I don't know it, I'll certainly look it up and give it a go. Okay. So once you've got that one done, you just want to hit Control and U. Oh, I haven't entered yet. Sorry. Control and U. And we want to bring the lightness down to make the shadow not too much. Yeah, about like that looks good. So basically you can see the sun is coming from that way. So we're shading that area over here. Okay, so let's go to our top layer. Let's just move that to the top actually, it makes sense here. And we go to our grass and we want to crop that in a square as well. Okay, now let's move it over. Just clicking and dragging it. There we go, and that's rather big. So let's hold down shift and just bring it in just to change the proportion, keep the proportions the same. I'm going to right click and distort it. Actually, let's, let's not distort it just yet. Control T and I'll show you why. We'll bring it in. Let's just move it down a bit and let's try and rotate it as much as we can. How are we going to look at it? Let's look at it that way because uh, Grass is a bit brighter that side and a bit darker that side, and we know the sun's coming from there. <coughs> Excuse me, right click and distort, and let's get that top part on. And there we go. Starting to take shape, starting to look good. There we go, so that's looking good. Okay. Now what we want to do, we want to control and T as well. We want to hold down shift and alt so it rescales from the middle. Like that. And hit enter. Okay, once we've done that, you want to uh, control and click on the top. And click back up to the, the layer with the grass. And you want to hit the mask key. <clears throat> so now that's mastered out, now you want to go back to your brush tool. And you want to find a scatter brush. Well, actually, I, let me show you how to do it this way. I've got a normal round brush on. And we want to go to our brush presets. And just change it. You can see it changing down here. So we're just going to pull that in. Should we make it a bit bigger first? So you can see. Let's make it bigger. Okay, so you can see it up there. You want to click Shape Dynamics. And you want to jitter it. And Angle Jitter. So you can see there, it looks like kind of spiky grass kind of thing um, going on over there. Roundness jitter, if you want it round, let's have it spiky. Some grass is spiky. Okay, now on the mask, let's just decrease the size there, just a touch. Okay, so we're drawing on the mask. You can see we want to do it in white because over here, the background, so what isn't showing is black and what is showing is white. So we're just going to go and draw just along the edges. Just like that, just to give it a bit of a, a spikiness to it. And the edges, 
There we go. So that's starting to take a bit of shape here. And now all I need to do is give this a shadow. So let's go to the bottom. We'll create a new layer. First, I'm going to fill that with white. So press X uh, to make your foreground color white. And you want to shift and backspace. There we go. And we want to create a new layer. Go into your brush tool and press X to swap your foreground and background color. And I need to just go back to a normal brush that is round. Decrease the size quite a bit. And over there, you want to just make one spot. Holding down shift and clicking again. And about there. And there. Okay, pressing G for your paint bucket tool. Filling that in. Let's just zoom out. We'll see it better if we zoomed out over here. With the same layer selected for your shadow, you want to go up to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Okay, I was practicing with the shadows just now, so it does look roughly how I want it to, but on mine, 23.5 pixels seems good enough. And hit OK. And you want to reduce the opacity just a little bit. I'm actually going to move my shadow down a little bit, so I'm going to hit V for the Move tool. And we'll move it down just a touch. There we go, that looks a bit better. And now you can do this if you want or don't, but shadows normally fade as they get further. So you can add a layer mask. Um, everything's white. If it's not, you want to invert it. And you want your foreground color to be black. And you want to go up to your gradient tool, which is there by the paint bucket tool. And you want it to go black to white. So we're just going... Oops, that's the wrong way. Sorry, you want it to go white to black. Okay. Enter, X, there we go. White to black. So you want your foreground color to be white. My apologies. And just dragging it in. Let's try that once more. And that looks good. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know if you want uh, any other tutorial, tutorials that I can show you. Um, I'm always willing to help you guys. So please let me know. Thank you very much.